and following new leads, the psychic employed to track down a Kent woman's missing dog. A woman from Faversham who says she's so desperate to trace her stolen dog, she's prepared to sell everything to pay for rewards, has turned to a psychic for help. Justine Marlowe's Yorkshire Terrier Alfie has been missing for more than a year, but she believes the psychic consultant from Gillingham could help finally find him. Keir McKenzie reports. It seems the picture of happiness for any dog lover to be surrounded by your pets. But for Justine Marlowe, it's far from it because one is missing. Her four-year-old Yorkshire Terrier Alfie was stolen over a year ago. And she says she can't rest until she finds him, whatever that may cost. Uh, money talks. People steal dogs for a reason. And I want people to know just how desperate I am to find my dog. And I'm not going to give up. If I have to sell everything, if I have to beg and borrow, I just want my dog back. And it's that determination that drove Justine to contact Jean Tai, a psychic consultant who uses tarot cards, rune stones, meditation and dowsing to try to locate missing animals. It's giving me a yes indicator around the lowest loft area. So it's, it's giving me an indicator that Alfie has either been there or perhaps is in that area now. Based on that information, Justine put up posters throughout the Norfolk area, but so far no luck. Although Jean says Alfie has been in psychic contact with a possible new location. He gave me a name of a village in Maidstone, and I wasn't aware that this was um, the name of a village. I kind of guessed it might be, but we have located that, and Justine is working on that. So while Justine's search continues, she can take some comfort in the fact that Jean senses Alfie will at some point be found. Keir McKenzie, BBC South East Today. A dog owner from Kent is so distraught at her pet's disappearance that she's offering a £10,000 reward for his safe return. And she's calling on the help of the supernatural. Alfie's a Yorkshire Terrier who went missing just over a year ago. Justine Marlowe from Faversham is convinced he was stolen. She's now hired a clairvoyant to try to find her beloved friend. Near Mason reports. It was on all marshes near Faversham that Justine Marlowe last saw her four-year-old Yorkshire Terrier, Alfie. Alfie, he's a small Yorkshire Terrier with a long, dark tail, grey body hair, and he's got a tan face with very floppy ears. He is microchipped. He was wearing a collar with a tag on. She believes Alfie was stolen while she was walking her dogs along Saxon Shore. That was more than a year ago, but Justine's determined to get Alfie back. She's offered a reward of £10,000 for anyone who finds him. Just please give him up because I'm not going to give him up. You know, it's my child. You know, whoever's got him has had him for years, so they'll know what sort of a dog he is. And they'll be attached to him, but I've had him for four years. And I'm not going to give up my search in finding him. The dog lover has also turned to a clairvoyant in her desperate attempt to find Alfie. Jean Tai from Raynham in Kent visited the spot where he disappeared and used a dowsing tool over maps to try to pinpoint the area Alfie could be in now. She believes that could be somewhere between Lowestoft and Great Yarmouth in East Anglia. We're getting a, a connection with boating and yachting and I was actually given the names of two boats that Justine actually located and were, were moored um, Medway. So uh, we feel he might be being moved about. This is why we're getting different locations. Alfie's disappearance has been reported to the police and vets. Justine Marlowe has also spent thousands of pounds on adverts in newspapers. She and her family have spent time putting up lost posters showing Alfie's picture and description together with their contact details. They've also circulated flyers across Kent and now throughout East Anglia too. No measure has been spared in the hunt for this dog owner's best friend. Nia Mason in Faversham for Meridian Tonight.